In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce a good tone with your bow with some exercises and techniques designed to get you to move your bow arm freely and produce a beautiful tone. Remember, when you're playing with the bow, you want to set your bow in a straight line so that it's parallel to the fingerboard and perpendicular to the strings. And you can also see that it's parallel to the bridge as well. And when you pull the bow across, you want to make sure you bend from the elbow and then straighten as the bow goes across like this. My bow is staying in a straight line. Sound. The power from our bow actually comes from the weight of our arm. So when we are placing the bow on the string, we want to be very careful not to push with the arm, but let the natural weight of the arm rest in the string. So we pull across like so. So if I were to press, that's really gross and not pretty. So you simply rest your arm into the string, let the weight of your arm sink into the string and you'll feel it because the bow hairs will catch on the string and hold it in place. That way when you pull, the string instantly starts to vibrate. And that's how you know that you have a good tone. So we are going to practice playing long tones, that's four long bows like I just showed you, on each of our four strings. So we're going to start with the A string. Now to go to each different string, you're going to change the angle of your bow by raising or lowering your shoulder and elbow on your right arm. Okay, so we're going to start with the A string and let's just play four long A's together. Long A means from frog to tip. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now let's do four of those on the D string. Ready, go. One, two, In fact, I would recommend doing those every time you take your bow out because it's really going to make a huge difference in the sound that you produce.